in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because evil every time you see champions in this kingdom they were not self-made the first law of intimacy with the Holy Spirit is not asking him to come. The first law of intimacy with the Holy Spirit is not even prayer. It is not fasting. The first law is an acknowledgement. You have to study the nature of man and the imperfections, the plethora of limitations that reside within this species called man. Then it will make you need God. And the only way God can make that happen is to be patient with you. He will not rush his presence to your life. You will not appreciate the value of his presence. So he will usually, because man as a species is proud, he will allow you to exhaust your connections, exhaust your wisdom, exhaust your intellect. That is why you will see things that should be, but is not. Because there is a dimension of results that is controlled from the realm of the spirit. In fact, it is the foundation of all results. Through faith, we understand. Hebrews 11 and verse 3. That the walls were framed by the word of God. Is that true? That that which now appears came from a realm that was unseen. Many people are unable to experience the power and the grace of God. Because we are still sufficient in ourselves. There are many sufficient preachers in themselves. Sufficient businessmen in themselves. Sufficient musicians. So you will have physically speaking. All the things that by the physical uh, requirement should produce for results. Yet you will marvel and wonder. I have told you that there are times you can have a boat. There are times you can be at sea. That's where fish should be. There are times your net can be walking and yet you will not catch fish. It is not lack of skill. It is not lack of diligence. There are times all the variables are correct and yet you will not catch fish. At that point, you don't need fishing again. You need Jesus. Now, let me tell you this. The Lord put this conference to challenge us for many of us that we may need to lay down our pride not to throw away the things we know but to come to a point where we realize that except God helps a man there is limitation there is imperfection except God helps a preacher you can do everything you know to do and you will be surprised that it will not work are we together the spirit helped our infirmity the infirmities that we do not know as we ought to know we do not know as we ought to know i think it's first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 please give it to us first corinthians chapter 8 and verse 2 i'm just drawing scriptures from my spirit it says and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing as he ought to know you must assume this state as a revelation my dear people i'm showing you by the spirit of god the secret of great men is not so much the things they do it's a posture in the spirit that has attracted the jealousy of god he has come to camp around their lives there are many who pray there are many who fast there are many who study there are many who are hardworking. There are many who are diligent. All these are very potent principles as far as the overall experience of the believer is concerned. But let me tell you the foundation of doing business with God is not religiosity. The foundation is coming to a point where you say, Lord, I'm not ashamed. I do not know. I am not ashamed. If you do not help me, I am insufficient. 
by my background my limitation in knowledge the variables and the odds are against me already by default however i am aware that there is a system of advantage you have provided for me now with humility i tap into that system now look up please i wish i had time i would have shown you all that i'm teaching you in the life of jesus himself because jesus becomes our pattern man his perfect theology the bible teaches us something very powerful in john chapter one when you read the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us is that true it says we beheld his glory even as of the begotten of the father that glory that was full of grace and truth jesus came as the logos of god made manifest and you will think as the word of god he should not need the spirit because the bible begins john in putting his synoptic account of jesus traces it to the divinity of god john 1 verse 1 in the beginning he says was the word what credential and the word was with god you talk of intimacy what else is greater than being with god that is the word with god and then that word was god transformation that he was talking about he is not just with god that word is also god but watch what happened when he came down to the earth and became a man he did not come to the earth as a star he came down to the earth as the word also at age 12 he was in the temple learning question learning what remember he didn't lose his identity as the word just because he was on earth and yet he submitted and was learning quietly with all the gaps and the flaws in the law he still sat down quietly and for 18 years he was preparing after that he now goes to meet john who was now baptizing and john sees him and by prophecy he says behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world john confessed that i'm not a fool oh, even though i'm a prophet i've seen into the realm of the spirit i am not qualified to even touch the latchet of your shoes and he says suffer it to be so this is an ordinance if i declare sufficiency the spirit cannot help me the spirit only helps men when i was god i didn't need the spirit but now that i've become a man i must satisfy that condition of the awareness of my insufficiency he said suffer it to be so that the scriptures will be fulfilled when john dipped him in water and he came out your bible says and the heavens open. hold on the word walked under a close heaven as the word for 30 years this is not demons this is not satan satan would come later on but just because he was the word his heavens were closed and the holy ghost was looking at him and didn't come until he found that posture suffer it to be so and as soon as he allowed himself to be dipped then the heavens were open you can fast and you can pray and that is profitable but if you do not assume this posture in the spirit where you are ever in need of god don't tell god come and help me he will ask you why because I acknowledge I am inadequate. Now you are inviting him. Lord, come and help me. Why? Because I hear you are a ladder that makes men great. You will keep praying. <clears throat> you must satisfy that condition. Are you, are, are you understanding what I'm teaching you? And the Bible says, as the heavens open, the Holy Spirit came in the similitude of a dove and rested upon him. Then the Father said, this is my beloved son what was he before for 30 years he was moving calling himself they called him all kinds of names and the father never accredited what they were saying in other words you people can keep calling him a man of god i have not spoken there is something i'm looking for until i find it he will not hear my voice he found studies he found diligence and the father did not speak he even found obedience as a young man and the father did not speak there was something he was looking for when jesus came and said although 
I am God incarnate. John, you are the prophetic voice that is being used. And I declare that I'm incapable of doing certain things for myself. I submit the heavens were opened. I will tell you the reason why many people do not receive in the body of Christ. We are full of ourselves based on the little results and the tokens of it that we have around we become full of ourselves and we feel is there really anything to know is there really anything to learn so the power of god will come and move up you and look for one quiet person somewhere who knows he came from a background with no advantage whatsoever who knows that even sociologically he's is disadvantaged and he can say god if you can find a vessel in me i may not have what it takes but i'm willing and i'm available and the power of God will come and strengthen that individual to the wonder of everyone this is how we came on board we didn't come on board as testaments of intelligence and power we didn't come on board as testaments of of skill there is a place for these things but I can tell you the only way to reflect you see let me tell you this a mirror does not have any image by default it depends on the object that projects it perfect yieldedness You cannot have intimacy with the Holy Spirit until you are broken. Until you get to that point of contriteness of heart. If this is my only charge in addition to what you have heard. Because he told you the necessity and even the advantages that come with walking with the Spirit. But let me tell you this. There is a state that you will find. Are you not surprised that there are many, we pray in Nigeria. We pray in Africa. There is no continent that prays yet our rate of transformation and result compared to the energy we dissipate is very small. Because I will tell you, for many people we use prayer just as a system to get accolades and get respite within the religious circle. For others we use these things just for a name. But like he taught you, there are people who more than all these things they desire to get to a point where their lives will reveal that if God does not help me, no one can help me. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth. The Spirit can help a man's ministry. The Spirit can help a man's spiritual life. The Spirit can help a business. Have you seen God help anybody before? And you tell the difference between the one helped and the one not helped hmm. when last did you see a man if i ask you to come out now and stand on this stage and i random pick five people and i say point to me the one that god has helped what are the indices you are going to use how do you know god is helping a man and how do you know a man has not received the help of god I wish I had time I would have shown you in scripture there are clear indices that show you can look at your life right now as I'm speaking and you can know whether you have tapped into that realm where you have been carried by the wings of the spirit you will know you have been held by God if there is anything I dread in my life is that God would never allow me to get to a point where i lose out on this posture that secures his help that is the worst state any man can get to that if you allow men or things or results distract you to a point where you lose the posture when jesus was on earth he never called himself father there are names jesus never used for himself he acknowledged that he and the father are one he called the holy spirit father he called God the Father, Father, but he never called himself Father because there was his posture that me, he need. Don't think the Holy Spirit just came and rested and remained on Jesus just like that. No, there were conditions. Our sufficiency is of God. We'll find somewhere to pray. If there is anything that you have seen in this life 
and any life that you admire i can tell you this behind the mighty things that you see god do through men i want you to know this that the help of the spirit the anointing the wisdom the power they are all expressions of the help of the spirit but that the help of the spirit would not just come to an individual who is just willing it takes more than willingness and availability god is looking for people in this meeting who can genuinely be broken to say lord i know that they call me intelligent i know that they call me beautiful i know that they say i am a great man but i call myself one who cannot move forward except you help me it is only in your light that i see light now that posture itself is prayer because the bible tells us in ephesians 3 20 that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think that means your mind is also a prayer warrior there is something it is telling god your thinking can be antagonistic to your prayer that while you are saying lord help me your mind and your understanding can be saying i don't need your help i am full of myself believe me i stand before god to tell you every time i have the privilege to spend time with god a large portion of my interaction with him is lord i am limited limited in knowledge limited in ideas frail as a man i do not even know what my tendencies are outside of your help and assistance and then the holy spirit now has something to say he can now come to you since you acknowledge that you need me let's go and he will hold your hands the strange thing is that people will not see him you are the one they will see so they will give you the uploads of both you and him you must be wise enough to channel because you are the one who knows so when you clap for apostle joshua selman the first clap was more than enough all those remaining you are crediting it to the wrong person i must be intelligent to know that if you weigh me and add everything it should not equal the results it means there is a helper behind the scenes are we together now if you ask me to lift this i probably can lift it if you ask me to lift this speaker i may not be able to lift it with one hand easily yet if i touch the speaker and the speaker just rises it means there must be somebody who is there is an agency helping just because you cannot see that agency does not mean it is not there when you see god talk to somebody to stand up and come and meet you and vow that he will not leave you till you are blessed until you rise please learn it that the world is too wicked for people to be that kind there has to be somebody moving them to you you can know the ministry of the helper the life of your pastor is proof that god has helped men everybody you see has a caption on his head that god is using greatly ebenezer helped by god helped by god in ministry helped by god in business helped by god that one person goes to bed and is sleeping and god will wake another person for his case and says ensure that this person and his children do not cry i give it to you as an assignment based on what do you think this cruel and selfish world how come an individual will just isolate you to bless you the moment you see those traces know that the helper is moving with you listen i'm introducing an economy for you tonight that i pray that you will tap into it you will truly find rest you can allow the helper man of god the helper can come and help your ministry you will try strategies but if the helper is not there to back it up you will be surprised how what should work will not work have i wasted your time so he taught you about intimacy but let me tell you now that true intimacy is not just powered 
by reading scripture and prayer alone those things only find their relevance when the state of your heart is already in place you are Ebenezer you are Ebenezer many years ago the Lord told me something he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you I thought that was a very easy statement if you will let men see me when God came listen carefully we're about to pray when God came to Solomon in the night and said ask his voice had come what do I give you and Solomon started his statement like this let me tell you what made him touch the heart of God he said God I am young I am limited now you have put me as a leader over these great people am I able to lead them on my own that is the language that attracts God he said grant unto your servant an understanding heart God said that's it since you did not ask for the life of your enemies nor for this and that I have given you an understanding heart such as I have given no man and in addition I have given you riches wealth and honor he didn't ask for those things our world today prides ourselves in celebrity living the truth is when God leaves you people will acknowledge you but let me teach you a very powerful secret it must become it must become part of your intentional approach to life to make sure that you never rise to a position where you come out of that zone that secures the presence of the Holy Spirit and I am telling you the key is to perpetually remain in that state of need that was the blessing he gave Jacob in Genesis chapter 32 the Bible says that Jacob wrestled with a man after dismissing his wives his cattle the Bible says that night a man came to him and Jacob began the wrestle are we together and he said leave me for the day the, the day breaketh and Jacob said I will not let you go what was the request bless me do you agree watch how he blessed him he said he touched the hollow of his thigh and destabilized the man's balance and then blessed him and changed his name what is your name Jacob thou shalt no longer be called Jacob but Israel for as a prince you have had power with God and you have prevailed he blessed him he touched the hollow of his thigh how does God bring imbalance to your life and calls it a blessing that means he will never have to walk alone unassisted he will always need a staff for that is what he calls blessing that the more de dependent you are in this kingdom that is what God calls blessing that on your own you are never able to stand you will need that rod and staff to comfort you and he says you are blessed he blessed him the sun arose and he called that place Peniel for I have seen God face to face and my life is spared man of God listen to me businessman listen to me there are many things that are not as hard as we think it is it is the state of our heart that continues to elongate and prolong the manifestation of the power and the wisdom of God in our lives. There are many things that others are praying for and God would take it as a love gift and bring it for others because they have maintained a posture. To see you high and lifted up You are shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love so we sing holy, 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 holy.
will see you Shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing. Holy, holy, holy. I've studied revivals, I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people while they were alive, and one of such people was Reinhard Bonke. I remember. In 2004, when I went for one of his crusades, I was trying to look for the wow factor in that man. What made him so exceptional? Was it the speaking? Was it what he said? Tens of thousands of people. And I stood for six hours on that crusade ground. I was already a man of God who you don't receive from a colleague mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. there has to be that gradient to acknowledgement i stood there and i said lord you raise this man and you have given him a voice a man who will go and preach in a land and people will bring in my presence we used to buy better max vhs the videos of his crusades it's not what they told me i saw it and he preached when he came up to preach he shared something so simple in fact annoyingly simple for that kind of test and hunger after traveling so far i was scanning lord what is it that secures your presence with this man very simple message and when he was done my heart honored god and honored him sincerely i said god help me to see i didn't just come it was not just to come and see this by the next day i got there by 3 p.m i saw them wheeling people on wheelchairs and all of that and i said please let me join and help and also honor this man and they said no 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 you are not in the committee that was trained i said look committee or no committee you don't know where i'm coming from you should leave me in peace that was how I was wheeling these people and said, Lord, this is how it will be in my crusade also. I acknowledge that I didn't have the key. I was not seeing miracles to that degree as at that time. There was no need acting. If it's not there, it is not there. Period. Rather than being humble to receive, you can prolong through pride your journey. I told you the power of God and the ministry of the Holy Spirit will search for brokenness. The earlier you admit your limitation, the faster you will see the investment of the Spirit. When I got there, sir, I stood for six hours. And finally, he came up and he shared a very simple parable and he was about to take water. Then he would now minister to the sick. That was the first time in my life even though i was walking in the anointing even though i had seen god help me to a measure i saw the visible manifestation of the holy spirit a giant bird bigger than this auditorium i've told you this it was hovering around the entire crusade ground i thought everybody was seeing it what is this silvery lines on the wings it was not flapping just like that and the spirit of god took me to genesis chapter 1 and verse 2 and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters for me it was not just a lecture it was not theory i had admitted that i, I didn't know god teach me show me when you are stranded you go to them that sell and buy there are them that sell not everybody is in need there are them that sell you buy with humility you buy with recognition and i stood there when i saw that manifestation do you know when that vision was over i had backed the stage i didn't even know when i turned other people were there just laughing others were there but i went there with expectation do you know what made the touch of the woman with the issue of blood draw power Everybody was touching, but they were touching out of sufficiency. 
there was a woman who had blood that the life of the flesh is in the blood it had been drained it was a matter of life and death the bible says she has spent all that is the key for as long as she still had some she would have touched jesus and nothing would happen she spent all her options on doctors every time there is insufficiency the anointing is coming that direction not that we are sufficient of ourselves so when you stand to preach as a man of god thank god for your notes thank god for everything but you now depend on them and you will be surprised but when you stand knowing that if you do not help me you are the one that we praise you are the one we adore you give the healing and praise dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata bako tosko tobre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.